do you do? Hello, everybody. She <laughs> bowed. Yeah, he's so good, you boy. Oh, he's so ferocious. He's so ferocious and precocious. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. I am alive. I'm alive. Me, Dante, and Muffin. Don Ma Dante, you're supposed to catch that. Me, Dante, and Muffin. Me, Dante, and Muffin. How do you not catch that? Catch it. Um, I've definitely taken a little leave of absence from YouTube and social media. Well, social media in general, I'm not really on there too often. I really enjoy the time and memories that I made, you know, before we had phones and such and social media. And I, I always kind of like to distance myself from social media as much as possible because I just feel like just too much time is spent on there. So the reason that I have been absent from YouTube for the last week and a little bit, I believe, um, is because I actually got really hurt. <coughs> so like most of you know, I live on the West Coast in Canada and we did get a buttload of snow here. Not as much as snow on the East Coast, but the West Coast definitely got some snow. I think we had a total of three snow days or something in a row here. And um, the roads were really treacherous, especially by my house because I'm kind of like off the main road and the plows don't come here. Master Dante has given Dobby a sock. So the snow kind of started to melt and it was like nice enough to go for a walk with Muffin because I always like to take Muffin on my cat backpack, like inside there. So I had Muffin in my cat backpack on my stomach. So I had the backpack like this way. And I had Dante obviously on the leash. So we were walking on this trail and um, around this area of the trail, there was actually a lot of construction going on with some like nearby houses. And also it sounded like they were doing some rock work of sorts. And I passed this little area with all these giant rocks and it kind of closed the trail down. So I'm like, okay, I can't go there on the trail. So I kept going. And in the area that I was, there was like a bend, like a sharp bend in the trail. And you can't see what's around the corner because there's vegetation and trees and, stu and such. Right when I went around this corner, there was a giant like tractor, um, what's it called? A pusher, what's it called? A plow, a plow, a pusher. There was like this plow that was, I guess, going to move the rocks. And this plow was the whole width of the trail. I didn't hear it because there was construction going on everywhere. It was so hard to hear anything. The plow was just boom in our face. And I freaked out and Dante froze and I grabbed him and I pulled him with all my might to the side of the trail and we ended up falling kind of in the snow. Um, and Muffin was okay because Muffin's like my baby. I did like everything possible to make sure he didn't get hurt in any sort of way. So Muffin was fine and Dante fell on me as well, like on my legs. And so I fell in the side, in the rocks, in the snow and bushes. And the guy, I just like waved him on. The guy didn't like stop or anything. I was just like, yup. Yup, and he just waved back to me. So I sat there to the side waiting for the plow to go by for a little bit. And then I tried getting up and I could not get up. My back, it felt like, it felt like my back was broken. And I was like, oh my God, but I knew it was my back pain. I have like this 90 year old back. And sometimes if it gets triggered just in a little wrong way, it's like messed up for like a good two weeks to a month. I could not get up. It was so, so incredibly hard to get up. Like the pain was excruciating to the point where I couldn't even breathe. And I was just like, <coughs> uh, 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 yes, oh, you, oh, you care about mama. Oh, yes, you love your mama. Um, but yeah, I just could not breathe or do anything. So thankfully I like held onto Dante's back and I pushed myself up and he was nice and strong as he stood. So I managed to get myself up and I was just taking like centimeter steps, like, at a time, like little tiny, tiny steps. Oh, he's so good, he's such a good doggo. Um, and then this old lady was on the trail and she looked like she was like 89 years old. And I was just like, okay, Laura, you can't ask this lady for help because she probably has a bad back herself. She can probably like barely get around as is. She's not gonna be able to carry muffin or anything. So I just took out my phone and I just stood there and I just pretended to like be texting on my phone or something like that. And then she went by and then I continued going, <gasps> So after like 20 minutes of doing this centimeter shuffle with this 20 pound cat on my stomach and Dante, um, I actually fell over. So I just like fell over to the side because my back just like completely gave way and I could not get back up. So I panic called my parents and my parents, I'm so thankful that my parents live in the same city as me. So I called my parents 
Um, and I told them that I was like on the trail to like look for this little landmark and then come down the trail towards me. And then they drove me to my house and then they just made sure I was okay at home and everything like that. Dante has been so incredibly helpful and I've kind of almost trained him to like walk beside me as I go to the bathroom. Um, and as I'm walking, I actually just put like my weight on top of him on his um, back as he's walking. So it helps me kind of get a little bit of weight off my back so I can get to the bathroom. Oh yes, you help mama. Oh, you save mama. Yes, you such a good dog. Um, but yeah, it's been a sucky couple of weeks. You know, obviously I'm not gonna complain because people have it way worse, you know? So, but just in my world, that's kind of what has been sucking lately. So today Dante and I, mu well, Muffin doesn't care because Muffin's upstairs where I can't get him because it still kind of hurts to go upstairs. So Dante and I just wanted to let you know that we are okay because I have gotten quite a few messages and emails um, from people asking if I'm still alive. But yes, I'm still alive. I just had a really, really bad um, week or two there with my back. So a much needed rest and hopefully I can start sitting upright and do some YouTube videos soon. And Dante really needed the break too. You know, he's absolutely beat from doing videos. So Dante, you know what? More so than me, Dante really needed a nice break from YouTube. So just wanted to give you all a quick update and we will see you all in the next video. So thank you all so much for watching and stay legendary.